what is AI? Simply put, AI is the art of making machines smarter by using algorithms to solve problems. Think about how you get friend suggestions on social media or recommendations for shows you may like on Netflix. These are examples of machines trying to be smarter by understanding you better. But how does this actually work? Artificial intelligence uses a concept called machine learning. This is where you can train a machine by feeding it a lot of data and setting certain rules. The machine will get progressively better over time. For example, if you have smart lights in your house and can switch it on whenever you say switch on lights, it would recognize this phrase and switch on the lights regardless of context. Deep learning is a more advanced form of AI where the machines have their own programmable neural network. Sounds complicated, right? But it's not really. It's actually the closest to human thinking that all of this gets. So really, it should be quite intuitive to us. Deep learning has algorithms rather than data. So just a set of guidelines and then it can make its own decisions. Using the same lights analogy, if you had smart lights that used deep learning technologies, your lights would switch on even when you said something like, it's getting kind of dark in here. Deep learning takes into account the context. Machine learning and deep learning are like cuisines of artificial intelligence, but deep learning is a subset of machine learning. So if machine learning was Asian cuisine, deep learning would be Japanese. But how do we get cooking? What are the most common principles and what is the bread and butter? If it isn't already clear that I'm supremely hungry right now, let's think about this in the context of a recipe. There are four main ingredients to AI. Cook them one way and get a fresh salad, or another way and get an amazing stir fry. These simple ingredients can lead to very impressive results depending on the outcome you're looking for. So let us get started. First, we have yes and no predictions. They are typically questions you want to ask like, if I run this campaign, would it be good for my business? Or will this prospect open my email? AI helps you answer these questions by scanning lots of historical data you have stored in your system. To answer this question, AI will typically be able to give you an answer in a percentage. For example, Olive Baker has a 67% likelihood of opening this type of email. Next, we have numeric predictions. Similar to yes and no predictions, this type of problem requires AI to make an estimation or a forecast of the future so it also uses historical data to predict patterns for the future. However, here you ask questions like, how many boxes of cereal will Olive buy this year? A third ingredient is classifications. This often operates on deep learning capabilities. Remember the lights that turned on even when you said, it's getting kind of dark in here? That same principle applies to classifications. It's when you feed a machine unstructured data and it extracts useful information from it. Regardless of how you phrase it, the deep learning engine can generally understand much like a human brain. Classifications also work on another type of principle, clustering. This works on the principle that AI can gather insights from data that you may not have otherwise noticed. And lastly, we have recommendations. This may be the most easy to understand considering how much we as consumers are now accustomed to seeing this. Netflix recommendations, shopping recommendations, see similar product sections. Many websites and apps now detect that people who buy a specific brand of hummus are also more likely to buy a specific type of pita to go along with it. When users shop for that hummus, the AI immediately recommends that pita to that user. That brings me to the end of the ingredients. When combined, they come together to produce amazing results for businesses. Helping automate tasks, predict individual behavior, personalize interactions, and ultimately scale your work. The reality is that your business will need more than one type of recipe. Each challenge is unique and needs a different formula for success. Thank you.